Welcome to Learn Instrumentation Engineering YouTube channel. Today we are going to detailly discuss about design requirement of instrument air compressor. So what are basically the design requirements that would be uh, used in instrument air compressor would be detailly discussed in this video. So we have taken reference from uh, latest issues, amendments and supplements of these two standard documentations so basically they are from ASME and uh, the other standard document is BPCB it comes basically from the boiler uh, process what is the first key requirement design requirement for instrument air compressor first of all the instrument air should be free from these basics uh, items so they should be free from moisture, dirt, oil, hydrocarbons, any corrosive gases. So the instrument air which is coming from the discharge of compressor should be free from these particles. So we should install the instrument air compressor suction which would be free from all these uh, particles and materials. Second a design requirement for instrument ER is normally in a process plant uh, most of the pneumatic operator instrument okay most of the pneumatic operator instrument would be operating or consuming around uh, 35 psig or lesser than this okay. So this is a basic recommend for most of the pneumatic instruments. But when it comes to control wall uh, positioners uh, and uh, piston actuators, then the instrument air consumption might be 60 psig minimum and might be more than 60 psig as well. So this instrument air compressor should discharge minimum 100 psig in the discharge line which is close to 6.8 bar okay so this is the main important design requirement of instrument air compressor pressure in the discharge line the third design requirement is that the capacity of instrument air compressor so the capacity should cater all the connected loads in the process plant assuming that all instrument is getting operated simultaneously at maximum air consumption and additionally we can have a reserve capacity for future expansion and that would be 10 percentage uh, reserves so the instrument air compressor should have minimum 10 percentage reserve for future expansion and of course we should also have some reserves in case if there is any air leak in the system okay so considering all these uh, requirement the capacity of instrument air compressor should be designed the fourth important design requirement for instrument air compressor is what should be the air flow see the air flow would be uh, depending upon the consumption rate in the process plant but if you don't have the consumption rate then we can allow we can estimate by allowing one uh, standard cubic feet per minute so this should be the air flow design requirement though if you don't have any consumption rate this would be the minimum air flow one standard cubic feet per minute the fifth design requirement for instrument air compressor is generally generally speaking we should prefer always we should prefer non lubricated instrument air compressor system okay but in case if you are using a lubricated system then you should have a, a oil removal system immediate discharge of the compressor at the same time this oil removal system should be uh, installed in the upstream of instrument air dryer this is a main important 
requirement if you are using a lubricator instrument air compressor system and post uh, dryer and oil separation the instrument air should have oil which should be less than 1 ppm as per the standard requirement and uh, finally the important design requirement for any instrument air compressor system is it should have standby uh, instrument air compressor equipment okay this is a important requirement for any instrument air compressor design requirement a standby uh, equipment should be available and that standby instrument air compressor should run on alternate uh, power supply okay it should be independent of the process plant power supply uh, mainly uh, it can even be mainly it can be even driven by diesel okay so this is the important design requirement for uh, standby instrument air compressor equipment and the design capacity of the uh, standby uh, instrument air compressor should be in line with the existing main instrument air compressor so this is uh, the more important system that we should have to consider while designing the standby instrument air compressor because in the future if you are going to upgrade the capacity of a main instrument air compressor then you should also upgrade the standby instrument air compressor system as well these are the basic design requirement that has to be taken care of while uh, designing instrument air compressor in your process plan if you like this video please hit the like button and share to our community and if you want to watch such technical videos do subscribe to our channel learn instrumentation engineering youtube channel thank you